This video is a tool to give you more information about staying healthy, especially around contagious respiratory diseases like the flu, colds, and other illnesses. In the next 12 minutes, you'll get answers to questions like, what are contagious respiratory diseases? Where do they come from? Should you be concerned? How do they spread? What can you do to keep yourself and others healthy? The more information you have, the easier it is to stay safe. So keep watching. First off, what is a contagious respiratory disease? Some sickness is caused by bacteria, microscopic organisms that get inside your body, reproduce, and attack your cells. But illnesses like colds and flu are caused by viruses. That's a very tiny, infectious agent that can make you sick. It's not like a bacteria. A bacteria is a live organism that reproduces inside your body on its own and attacks your cells. But a virus can't reproduce on its own. Hey, what do you want for nothing? So it does something pretty sneaky. It tricks your cells into turning out copies of the virus. Here, hold this DNA for me, will ya? <laughs> In other words, a virus latches on to one of your cells and then injects the cell with its own DNA, turning the cell into a little factory that produces many, many copies of the virus. And then those copies go out and infect other cells and so on. It's like a microscopic vampire attacking your cells and converting them one at a time. Nasty. <laughs> so how does a flu virus spread? Colds and flu are respiratory ailments. That means they affect your lungs and or your nose and throat, making you cough and sneeze. And the virus escapes your body, riding on microscopic and sometimes not so microscopic water droplets. These droplets need to get inside another person in order for the virus to spread. Your skin makes a pretty good barrier against a respiratory virus. <laughs> At last, I have met my arch nemesis. So, the water droplets need to get in through your nose or mouth or eyes, the wet parts of you, where mucous membranes make a permeable barrier between your tissue and the outside world. If the virus can get in through any of those places, it can infect you. So, to stay healthy, it's important that you do whatever you can to keep those infected water droplets out. That's why the first best way to keep yourself safe is to avoid close contact with sick people. The trouble is, you don't know who's sick, and you don't know if someone who is sick recently coughed or sneezed on a surface that you might touch. So, just know that in crowded places like cafeterias, restaurants, schools, movie theaters, airplanes, and so on, you're at increased risk of getting sick. You can let a virus into your body by touching the infected water droplets and then touching your nose, eyes, or mouth. This can happen after you shake someone's hand, touch a doorknob or a handrail, a desk, tabletop, or countertop, or any other surface or object that other people touch. The influenza virus can live for two hours or more on a surface outside the human body. So just because you didn't see somebody cough on that table or sneeze into their hands and then touch that handrail, that doesn't mean it didn't happen. Now, if you're in a public place, you probably have to touch things other people touch. So, rule number two is, don't touch your eyes, nose, or mouth. If you do, you could be giving a virus a free ride in past your body's first line of defense. Because we sometimes touch our face without realizing it, if you're in a place where sick people are, or where they might have been, it's a good idea to wash your hands as much as possible. Washing with soap and water for 15 seconds can take the influenza virus off your hands. Alcohol gel works great too, or you can use disposable hand wipes. Remember, if you can keep from letting the flu virus in through your eyes, nose, or mouth, you can stay healthy. It really works. You can also pay close attention to your general health. Get plenty of sleep, be physically active, manage your stress, drink plenty of fluids, and eat right. All those things will give your body what it needs to fight off disease in any form. But there's a flip side to this. What if you're the one who's sick? In that case, you've got an obligation to the rest of us. First off, you can have the influenza virus and not even know it. It takes 48 hours to show up, but you can start spreading it after only one day, before you even have symptoms. So, if you cough or sneeze, do it into a tissue and then throw it away, and then wash your hands. Remember, you're trying to keep those water droplets from getting into another person, <coughs> or onto a surface that somebody else might touch. If you don't have a tissue, don't sneeze into your hands. 
The flu often spreads because somebody sneezed into their hands, then shook somebody else's hand, or touched a surface that somebody else then touched. So, if you don't have a tissue, sneeze into the crook of your elbow. That'll catch the droplets and prevent you from smearing them anywhere else. Finally, if you get sick, stay home from work or school, and stay out of close contact with other people so you don't infect them. We know you don't want to miss work or class, but don't be selfish. Don't make other people sick, too. If you're worried that you might be sick, watch for these symptoms. Fever, cough, sore throat, body aches, headache, chills, and fatigue, diarrhea, and vomiting. If you get sick with any of those symptoms, contact your health care provider. You should seek emergency medical care if you have difficulty breathing, shortness of breath, pain or pressure in the chest or abdomen, sudden dizziness, confusion, or severe or persistent vomiting. Seek emergency medical care for your child if they breathe too fast or have trouble breathing, if they have a bluish skin color, not drinking enough fluids, they're not waking up or interacting, or if they're so irritable they don't want to be held, or if their symptoms go away but then return with a fever and a cough, or if they come down with a fever accompanied by a rash. So, if you do get sick, what can be done about it? That's the end of the free online sample. Thanks for watching and stay healthy.